And this is what happens when you when you practice this blind control drawing. You're gonna be realizing that shapes in the real world are full of surprises. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to this brand new YouTube channel. My name is Casper and um, this is a channel that's going to be about drawing, drawing in many different ways. So uh, on this video channel I'm going to be showing some tips and exercises with you guys on how to become better at drawing or if you're completely new how you can get a hold of this uh, discipline. I'm on my way to become a full-time illustrator so on this way I've learned a lot about anatomy, composition, uh, how to sketch, how to use different materials uh, in your practice and uh, these are the things I'm going to show you and uh, hopefully inspire you to draw more and have uh, more fun while doing it. Currently I'm working on a children's book project that takes most of my time um, but I must admit I'm struggling to uh, get in some more, sneak in some more uh, drawing time in, in my days currently. Maybe it's because of the, the cold days or the, the dark days here in, the, in Scandinavia. But um, I'm going to be showing you an exercise today which is really helpful if you're struggling with uh, getting the more time in with the drawing because this exercise is really informal and fun. And all you need is basically a piece of paper, something to draw with, a pen, and then you just need to find uh, an interesting object. Um, and most people have hands, so today I'm going to draw my hand using this exercise. So the exercise that we're going to go do today is uh, invented, as far as I know, by a guy called Nicolaitis. And the exercise is called blind drawing or blind contour drawing. Because in this exercise you're focusing on drawing an object, just focusing on drawing the contour of the object itself without looking at your paper. So your eyes appeal to the object, your eyes appeal to the contour of the object, and meanwhile, your pen is going to be on the paper and tracing that contour of that object. So I'm going to go ahead and draw my hand using this, uh, this technique. Okay, so we're going to go ahead with this blind contour drawing. In front of me, I have my hand. And if you don't have any hands, you can use your feet. So I have my hand here, which I, which I want to draw. And then the thing is that I'm gonna set a focal point here with my using my eyes. I'm just gonna focus on the contour starting from here. And this is where I put my pencil. This is where I'm gonna start to, to draw. And then it's very important that from here on, I don't look at the paper. I only look at this place right here. And then it's the, the, the exercise is to kind of feel that your pencil is dancing on that shape, on that contour here. I'm gonna go ahead and draw the thumb. So, the important thing about this exercise is to take it really slowly. The slower the better. And you can't really do anything wrong. Just have to follow those folds and crests that are in your hand or in your feet. This might be a difficult thing to to do in the beginning, but once you get a hold of it, it's really a fun and how can I say it? A very um, it sets you free in a way. This exercise, uh, the nail here, and you can tell how many bumps there are on this hand of mine. And it's quite interesting to see. There goes a knuckle, here another knuckle, and a small. The more slow you'll do this, the more details you'll find actually. And here, let me get up here so you guys can see. Nail here. And when you have my, my wrist actually, you can see, but here it's gonna go out here. 
and I'm trying to trace over here where I left. Okay, so my hand compared to my blind drawing of the hand. And of course, it's obvious that this hand is uh, really a, a very rare kind of hand. But the important thing is here to remember that even though your drawing doesn't uh, uh, look like your, uh, your hand, it's important to remember that this is all about um, having fun. But also your brain will start to realize that a hand is full of, uh, of these crazy shapes and forms. And this is everywhere you look at. Uh, for instance, people who would draw an apple would usually draw an apple like this, you know. And this is like a symbolic way of, of, of drawing a re symbolic representation image. Like, for instance, in, in real life, an apple is more going to be looking like this. With all these kind of crazy shapes. And this is what happens when you, when you practice this blind contour drawing. You're going to be realizing that shapes in the real world are full of surprises and full of uh, full of uh, new uh, new uh, lines that you wouldn't have thought about before. So this is how my hand looks after I've been drawing it using this technique of blind contour drawing. It's really a super fun way of drawing and I find it so helpful in, uh, in a way of loosening up and setting you free. Uh, and also it's, this is an exercise that's great because you really only need a piece of paper and a pen. You could do it on the train. You can do it when you're in the couch, you can do it when you're watching Netflix, you can do it uh, while you're listening to podcasts and you don't have to worry too much about shadowing or doing anything. You just tra basically you're training your hand eye coordination in a fun way. So I'm hoping that this was a good exercise for you guys. Please uh, let me know in the comments what, which object you choose to, uh, chose to draw and, and let me know what kind of content you want to have uh, in the future. Have fun drawing.